Good morning, everybody. So we just got here to Sitka, Alaska. That's right. We're just doing a quick trip to Alaska uh, because our friends, uh, Cameo and Brooks, invited us on their boat uh, because there's some herring runs going on around here and uh, there's supposed to be a ton of whales feeding as well. Yeah. And they were like, hey, you guys want to come check it out? And we <laughs> couldn't say no to that. A trip to Alaska. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so we're here. Uh, we didn't drive the van up. We obviously flew up because it's just a quick trip, just for a few days. Um, and we're staying on the Equinox, which we stayed on last year when we did the spot prawn and caught octopus and stuff. Sitka is situated on the southeastern portion of Alaska and it's in the Tongass Rainforest. And the Tongass Rainforest is one of its largest temperate rainforests and it has a huge role on the wildlife here, especially the salmon. And the native people here are the Klinkit, Haida, and Shimshim people. And this place is just magical. Just look at this place. This time we're here for the herring run. And every year for about three weeks, two to three weeks, the herring spawn in here in the Sitka Sound. So we're, later on, we're gonna be making a delicious recipe with the roe and with the herring. So stick around for that one. It's gonna be really good. Alright guys, we got Brooks here. Hey, hey. Thanks for having us again. Good to see you. Excited to be back. back. Yeah. Uh, and Camille's out there. Uh, she's trying to spot some whales. So that's what we're trying to do first. Just find some whales. Uh, to do some whale watching. And we'll probably go catch some herring later and do all kinds of stuff. We'll fish a little bit too. Alright guys, here's Camille. Hi! <laughs> Everybody loved you in the last year's oh, video, good. by the way. <laughs> They were all stoked. They were like, oh my gosh, I wish I had her energy. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty happy about that trip, I will say. I know, she was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, that was an amazing time. We're excited to be back mm -hmm. and watching these whales. They're, seeing the greys, yeah. See, these are all grey whales, right? These are all, right now, yeah, what we're seeing is all greys. There's humpbacks out here as well, but in this bay right yeah. now, these are all greys and they're Ooh. feeding on the herring eggs from the herring that just spawned oh. in here. So they're eating the eggs, not, not even the herring? Just the no, so just the eggs they actually kind of go down and take a, just scoop up a bunch of mud from the bottom oh, and then yeah. filter it out. Oh. And then, so they're eating all the eggs. Oh, I see. But it's amazing, they time it just perfectly. So yeah. the herring move in, they start spawning and then you'll see the greys start to move in yeah. like three days later. Wow. And then they just kind of, the numbers get bigger and bigger and bigger for yeah. probably the next five days or so. And then they'll start heading north and continue up north. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, How everywhere. many do you think they are right here, right? There's I could, a lot. It's hard to say. Probably right yeah. around us there's 10. But if you watch the horizon, you'll just see kind of spouts, the spouts all, all around over. and they're they're all along this coastline right now. That's so cool. Yeah. Do they do the bubble net feeding too? Or that's just the... Um, that's just the, the humpbacks. Humpback. So the humpbacks are really the only baleen oh. whale that do kind of a collective feeding behavior. Mm. Um, which, those could be humpbacks that I saw that we see over there. You okay. See two spouts kind of in tight succession. They go a little bit higher in the air. Yeah. Um, and the humpbacks will do the, the bubble net feeding. Mm. Yeah, we want to see that. Oh, yeah, yeah there's a good amount of yeah. spouts over there, too. So see there's spouts all over the place. Oh. If we're lucky, oh. one of these guys oh. will come in close. Oh, yeah. we're going to get another tail. No. Oh, it's a little, oh, bit. It's a little bit. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what those are. Those are birds. No. <laughs> oh, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I knew I was missing something. <laughs> yeah. oh, you can hear it this time. Ah, he's over here. He's over there. Ah, I'll go over here. Ah, he's coming right here. Justin's so excited. <laughs> he looks so excited. Straight in the back. 
All right, I guess I gotta send the drone out. First, we start off by going to look for some gray whales. So the Brooks and Cameo know of a spot that gray whales kind of like to hang around. And Cameo was telling me that they're, the gray whales are not eating the herring itself, but they're actually eating the roe. They'll go right to the bottom, scoop up a bunch of, uh, bunch of sand with the, with the roe in it, and they, they're eating the roe. At first, we're seeing a few spouts here and there. The ocean's kind of rough. Uh, so it's harder to spot when it's, you know, when it's rough. But we get into this calmer water and all these gray whales start popping up and just psh, psh, spouts everywhere, all around the boat. And it's just us there with the whales, just kill the engine and we just enjoy these gray whales. Then we went to go look for some kelp on the water and normally when these spawns happen the kelp gets filled with a ton of roe. You can you see all that, those, yeah, those are, that. I think those are the rocks and they're just covered. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah! There you go. Nice. Yeah. It's yeah. It's thick. Yeah. Yeah. Thick. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty fresh. Like it yeah. looks like a recent spawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This spawn area spawned yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they said they. Perfect. You're gonna spawn yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! Wow, cool. Yeah. It peels off. <laughs> I like eating it with the kelp. I'll like it. Oh yeah. I'll like it pretty good. Mmm. It's like a little bit salty. Mm-hmm. Good crunch. I love it. I got my lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. It's so crunchy. Not too thick, but yeah. like a little couple layers. Funny too how it'll be like thick on one side. Yeah. And then not so much on the other side. Oh, look at this. What the heck is that? Little, little Oh, yeah. A little, uh, I can't remember what the heck that's called. <laughs> little critter. Little, little sea critter. Oh, I think I'll go with that. Okay. Oh, that's another juvenile. The youngsters are so cute. <laughs> They're, They're like not cool yet. Oh, here we go. I got a fish. Oh! <laughs> you got one. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. First herring. Herring, I think, is worth. <laughs> oh, it's a nice size one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh oh. She's coming. She's coming right now. She's coming. Look at that. Yeah, that's way bigger. Wow. They look a little bit different than the. You want to milk have. it? <laughs> <laughs> throw in the bucket for now? Yeah, go for it. Oh, there you go. I'll throw some. Oh, we're in the thick of it. We're in the thick of it. Oh, yeah. That's gonna get them. Feels heavy. Oh, just a, just a few. That actually didn't get too many. I thought I was gonna get way more than that. Ooh, this net is big. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, close to the rocks. Just a few. That was a big one, isn't it? We boated to one area where we were just jigging a sabiki for herring and throwing the cast net uh, for herring a little bit. And this shoreline, I'm telling you, just looks like an emerald color. Like it's really beautiful. But in reality, it's just all herring spawn. They spawn so hard that it turns the water this milky emerald blue kind of green color and it, it looks beautiful until you realize what it is <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> maybe they're like right underneath us oh yeah so oh oh there you go there he is logging well how cool is that guys we got, oh, we got a bunch of whale action these are humpbacks now super cool and there are also humpback whales here and they're feeding on the actual herring itself. And the goal, the mission kind of was to see them doing the bubble net feeding. They kind of work together to feed on these herring. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see too much of that. We saw a few kind of coming up and eating here and there, but mostly we just see their humps, the humpback, you know, psh, spout. They come out a little bit and they just float along. Sometimes we'll, we'll see them dive down and you know when they're doing that, when their tails come up out of the water and then they're gonna be diving down and kind of staying under for a little while. All of this was so awesome. Sure, I've seen humpback whales before, I've caught herring before, but I couldn't really say no to a trip to Sitka. Something we didn't get to see is the, the way the native people here harvest the herring grow. What they do is get a branch off of a hemlock tree and they place it in the water where they think that the herring are going to be spawning. And the herring go and spawn on those hemlock branches and on the needles and everything and that gets covered and that is a delicacy of their own and they, they eat it just with the needles and with the eggs and everything. And I've never had it like that, I've never seen it done, uh, but that is a really cool method and you know that's probably one of the most sustainable ways to do it because you're still allowing the herring to spawn and you know they they're not only spawning on the trees but they're spawning on the kelp they're spawning on the rocks everywhere all around so you're not really harming any of the the herring population by doing that uh, but we did see some saners out there as well and i got a big drone shot of this one saner uh, that was just 
made a circle, full circle, and that's what they do, and it's a net. And they just gather all this herring, and you can literally see these, uh, so many herring on the edge of the net, and they're kind of jumping around and jumping up, and that's how they catch herring. And a lot of it um, gets shipped to Japan because it, there's a uh, kazunoko, it's called, that's the herring row. For Japanese people, it's a very uh, traditional kind of food, and that's that's why they're out there catching those those herring here. Now we got plenty of herring roll, and we got enough herring. Now let's go make this dish. Uh, we're gonna go back to the Equinox, the bigger boat, and cook in there. And by the way, we will be returning here to Sitka in the summertime. Talk to you more about why it's important to preserve the Tongass, and we're gonna be collaborating with the Sitka Conservation Society for that, uh, so you get all the right information. And we have some awesome stuff planned, so look forward to that in the summertime. I think that's enough for dinner. These are big, man, I'm telling you, these are way bigger than the ones we get. Look at that. That's uh, about close to 12 inches there. I guess some of them, some of ours could get this big, but this is like average size here, so pretty big. I think most of these are still filled. You can see the bellies are pretty full still, so they probably have, depending on male or female, got some stuff in there hopefully the eggs I'm gonna scale them all gut them and fillet them Oh, this, this row looks nice. Okay, let's fillet these guys. Nothing fancy here. So we could keep these bones too and fry them up. Now we got the kelp, remember this? I'm just gonna scrape all the eggs off of the kelp. It was actually worked better yesterday when I just took it off with my hands. Maybe because this one's just a little thin. Can't take it off that well. Okay. Oh, this side's better. That's a good amount of eggs. Mm -hmm. From that just tiny piece. You can see that, right? You can see it's probably about two layers of eggs. This one's almost three, We're two and a half. Three. We're, getting, we're getting better. Two and a half layers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I haven't told you guys what I'm making yet. I am going to make herring oyakodonburi. So oyakodon in, is a Japanese dish and normally uh, it's with chicken and egg. It means parent and child bowl <laughs> over rice basically. And that's what I'm doing. But I'm also going to use the eggs uh, from the chicken and I'm going to use the eggs from the herring and I'm also going to use the herring fillets and we're going to combine all that together and make a Herring Oyakodombri. This is Marin going in. I just put it in this bottle. Thanks for looking. Marin is just sweet cooking wine. So this is dashi. Just made with whole dashi. And this is soy sauce. Very tasty. I'm gonna use this. Okay, we'll just let that simmer and then we'll add the eggs in, in a little bit. And I'm gonna fry up the herring fillets with this one.
So we're essentially making herring katsu here. Cornstarch, egg, and panko. The basics, all right. All this onion looks really nice and nice and tender now. So I'm going to add the herring roe. I'm gonna cook a little bit of that. Add this in. And in a minute we'll add the eggs, the, the actual chicken eggs. All right, we got five beautiful eggs. We'll just whisk that up. Okay, let's add this. Okay, we're not gonna do the whole thing, just half. We'll do another layer of herring roe. And we'll do last layer of chicken egg. Chicken roe. No. Because <laughs> it's a chicken egg. <laughs> Okay, we'll just finish it off with some green onion on top. So this is how we're gonna plate it. Got a bowl of rice. And then we're gonna take like that. A few pieces of herring on there. A little bit more roe, fresh roe. Tiny bit more scallions. That's it. Herring oyakodon. Came out exactly how I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good when it when it comes out that way. <laughs> we got some Harbor Mountain Brewing right here in Sitka. I got the hazy IPA. Jocelyn's got some. It's a sour. Yeah. What was that? Island, island vibes. Island vibes. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Thanks for taking us. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for making it up awesome here. Awesome wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. It's a little oh, more yeah. hazy. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see how this turned out. Mm -hmm. Herring oyakodombri. I think it looks great. I think it's gonna taste good too. All right. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. <laughs> herring's cooked all the way. Got like a mix of Ooh. raw yeah, eggs, yeah. cooked herring. herring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. It's a nice texture. Mm -hmm. Somebody in town ought to be doing something with with herring, you know, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. such a big deal. You know, so much of it. And none of the restaurants mm -hmm. use it? Not, no. not the meat. They Ooh, dang, that's good. The eggs. Mm -hmm. I like the, I like the crunch with the egg. Yeah, mm -hmm. crunchy eggs, mm -hmm. and you get the crunchy fillets yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And w the thing with herring, it's like a meaty, yeah. it's a meaty fish, even mm -hmm. though it's just a little bait fish. Mm -hmm. I've only this had, is a winner, man. This is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've only had herring a few times, and every time I'm, I am think, like, oh, we should, we should do more with this. And even mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. stuff where, if you ask anybody around here, they'd be like, oh, you know, the fish is depleted after spawning and all that stuff. But That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it tastes great. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely mm -hmm. put this on my regular repertoire every year for herring. Uh, this is good. And this is really good. You can see the little bones in the herring, but you can't taste them at all. They're just mm -hmm. like perfectly so tiny, so it doesn't even yeah. mm -hmm. doesn't bother you at all. The yeah. little tiny bones. Mm -hmm. This is the only fish roll I like. The herring roll. Mm -hmm. It's your favorite hair. Mm -hmm. The fish roll. Yeah. This is the winner. Yeah, mm -hmm. for, sure. for sure. I like it mixed in with the egg too, because you can taste all the like it still pops, mm -hmm. but it has mm -hmm. all the flavor and everything you put in there. Did you do any of the Fine. And I didn't do it yet. Yeah. I was just, I was thinking maybe I could just bake it. Mm 
professional. This is mm -hmm. skills right here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm, my God, good. <laughs> Alright guys, I think it's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching another episode of uh, Fun Adventure. Quick one in, in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Thank you to you two, Brooks and Cameo. Thank, Thank you, guys. you Good to see for you. feeding us yet again. Yeah. It's yeah. delicious. Anything, always, always a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Anything you'd like to plug? Oh. <clears throat> Alaska? Really, yeah, I really I don't know. Through, but... Not on the spot. <laughs> 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 if you want to see Aaron. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him hearing. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. See you next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.